I mean, you were dating, but life didn't happen until I came along. So as a single person, Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I've got my beautiful boyfriend Elliot here. Hello. Tomorrow is our three anniversary, so I thought why not do a little video together to, yeah, celebrate that. So this video is going to be Elliot pros and cons, Vancouver versus Toronto, because he's lived in both. I mean, he's currently living in Vancouver. So yeah, I He live has in lived Vancouver. in Toronto. But just so everyone knows, how long did you live in Toronto? Two years. And how long have you lived in downtown Vancouver for all up? Uh, six years before Toronto and three years since. Okay, so nine versus two. Yeah. Even though there's probably a clear winner in there, let's go through the pros and cons. If you guys do like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe before you watch the rest of the video, because why not? Why not? Yay! Okay, my first one is the weather. Pros. And cons of both like who wins pro i would say it rains a lot less toronto mm -hmm. it's also i find for some of the year more manageable heat because i know it gets pretty sticky here because we're on the west coast um in toronto it swings high and it swings low so we hit 43 when i was there and we also hit negative 36 feels like negative 42 so so there's more extremes extremes in toronto um, and then you also have snow for Lorna. So who wins? Vancouver has more moderate temperature, I think. And I feel like you don't die in the summer. So I would have to give weather to, to Vancouver for sure. Wow, yeah. Vancouver won. Okay, what about job hunting or getting a job? I would say... To, From uh, your to, experience. Toronto has more Vancouver. options. So I think there's... Mm -hmm a lot more variety like you can get jobs in both cities and a lot of industries but i think in toronto because it's much larger in a scale than, than vancouver i think uh toronto you have more options and more special specialty so say you want to work in a certain industry here you might not have a like subset of that industry whereas in toronto you may have a bit of a subset that you can like choose jo job I, I think toronto toronto one oh mm. got there a little <laughs> reflection on your face okay which city is better for transit which is easier to get around if you are living there that's tough i think long distances vancouver because of the sky train going south and east so you can go to port moody and you can get to richmond and you can get to wherever pretty quick there's just more options with the long distance where uh toronto felt it was a little confined to the subway which didn't go as in many directions uh, short distances, I think Toronto probably beat out, at least where I was living, I was living on Queen Street. There's like four major roads kind of going east to west in Toronto, like King's Queen. Which was Queen. more expensive? Would They're say pretty, like, pretty similar. Pretty similar. I would say like three, yeah. three and change for a one way or for like 90 minutes. So yeah, oh. I'll, I'll give, I'll give it to Vancouver for transit. Vancouver for transit. Yeah. All right. Next one is population. Do you mind having a huge crowded city? Like I don't know how many times bigger Toronto is than Vancouver, but in my opinion, even with Melbourne versus Vancouver, Vancouver is such a small downtown area. Do you prefer the big city? Like if you're gonna go to a city, go big, or do you like that Vancouver is quite small? Like what would be your preference? And population wise, or just like general city size? Well, I guess like who wins in population? It's gonna be Toronto because they win in types well, of, but yeah, I mean, which do you prefer to live in? Did you mind the large population? It was, it was good because in, in Toronto, it was good because for with, with lots of population because it was busy and there like just there's people around and there was which in turn made events happen every night of the week rather than trying to shove them into like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So yeah. it's like you could do a Tuesday night out or like an event on a Tuesday and it wouldn't completely be dead or like feel weird because you're with uh, three other people. <laughs> so that that's a positive um, and that's kind of the positive with and there's just more people around I think like there's uh, the streets even though Toronto is much bigger on a scale wise uh, than downtown Vancouver it was it was it was busy most places yeah. So that's a win for Toronto? I would I would give population to Toronto yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. At least for per personal preference. So this next one is obviously going to be different for everyone but for your own uh, personal experience do you find uh, Toronto a very unsafe city to live in? Uh, do you find Vancouver pretty unsafe like in terms of safety and crime? Which one wins? Which one is the safest city in your opinion? 
I think in terms of like drug use crime, I see a lot more in Vancouver, but just on a day-to-day -day basis, I think. And then, um, whereas Toronto was a little bit away from where I lived. And because, I don't know, it's just a bigger city, so I, uh, it doesn't it doesn't present itself as forward as, as Vancouver okay. um, with the downtown east side. That being said, I was uh, within a block of shootings twice in the two years I was there. So, uh, Touch yeah, wood, was, I haven't heard any shootings That was here, uh, <laughs> personally. a little bit more intense on the like scale of things. So but maybe more prevalent violent crime over drug crime, you think? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, I would say. So I would pick, say pick your poison. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which do you prefer? Yeah, uh, so. I, I don't. I didn't feel unsafe in either city, if that makes sense. But I am okay. also a white man. A white, so a white man. That's yeah. Not that small, but yeah. I mean, just from just putting my own perspective as a female in here, I have found living in a larger city like Melbourne more unsafe, just because of potentially the places I was going in at night. Whereas here, I don't find the people who are potentially on drugs that violent towards me they're sort of in their own world so I haven't felt that unsafe but then it's super quiet here walking at night and that's kind of eerie so there's no one really around so for me it's kind of a hit or miss I think I feel a bit safer in Vancouver than Melbourne overall so that's just a fun little a little bit of a, yeah. a drop in the ocean from me there. I guess this isn't really potentially something you need to worry about, but do you find it better living on an East Coast time zone or a West Coast time zone? Did you find that daylight savings or anything, I don't know, is daylight savings in Toronto as well? Like yeah, okay. the same sort of shtick? I guess if you're living in different countries, you'd have to look at that. And I know the time zone is pretty rough for Australia and like Pacific daylight savings time, but I don't know if you want to answer this as like a little bonus thing. Do you think that time zone plays a difference? Like, do you find... The only, the only thing yeah. I found a difference was like sporting events, if that makes sense. Were they better on the East Coast? They were later. So, right, say okay. something starts at 7 p.m., like there's a baseball game or a hockey game or like a, a, like a boxing fight, they start at 10 p.m. rather than 7 p.m. and they'll, fin they'll finish at like 1 in the morning. Whereas right. here, they'll finish at 10 p.m. So then you have a bit of a night afterwards for whatever you want to do, or you don't need to stay up so late. But I think that was the only like pressing issue. So you issue. think they favor the Pacific time for sporting? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it would be too early. There we go, that's, that's something. That's something yeah, I would I think, think of. I think that, well, I was in the bar industry, so it was a, yeah. something on the, on the mind, so. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this one is an easy one. Just from visiting Toronto, but which city do you think is more scenic or beautiful to look at? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, so I'll explain. Toronto's a bit of a concrete jungle. They have Toronto Island, um, which is fine, and it's on Lake Ontario, um, but it's very flat. Uh, it's a very flat city, and if you want to get to cottage country, it's about 40 to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour to get to anywhere near Huntsville or, or uh, Muskoka, they call it. So, uh, yeah, I would say here you're kind of in in the scenery the whole time rather than being in a, a city. You kind of can Having see the escape. mountains. Yeah. You can go 15 minutes out of the city and kind of feel like you're not in a city, whereas Toronto, it's hard to escape the city. I didn't have a car when I, when I lived there, so it felt like I was in the city for a long time, which uh, I think was not great for me, just because I had li grown up on the west coast of, like, on the island, so yeah. Cool. Vancouver wins that one. Uh, housing. In terms of looking for an apartment and did you, both cities would be competitive. They're both very popular cities to live in in Canada. But did you find it easier to find a place here? Did you find it easier apartment hunting there? In terms of what you got for what you paid for, what was the vibe? I know it's hard because you lived in Van years ago as well where it was a lot cheaper to rent, but yeah. So I think, I explained this to somebody one time, I was like, Toronto has more options. Just like the job market as well, there's more area that you can go to and there's more types of uh, like kind of pockets in the city. So you have more options for like, if you want a one bedroom away from the city that's available, you have that, but at the same time you have the population. So there's more options in Toronto. Uh, it's just as expensive for the most part. Okay. Uh, and then closer to downtown, it gets more and more expensive. Um, and then Vancouver, yeah, you might be, you don't have as many options just because it is a smaller city. Like if you if you re reach into Richmond and Burnaby, I think you have options. But I think if we're talking about like 
Vancouver downtown. that includes even kits and, and like each fan and stuff like that. Um, you're limited in what you what you can buy. So I would give the housing market to Toronto. Um, Just they're, more they're, both, they're both they're both pretty they're bad. both not great. Yeah. 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 I mean, Calgary just won the most livable city out of Canadian cities. It's not like in the, they just released the top 10 this week and Calgary was there. And then I think it was Calgary, Toronto, Vancouver, but they were all in the top 10, which was surprising. So it's not for housing prices, let me tell you. Making friends, having friends, catching up with friends, just friends in general. Which city did you find it easier to make connections with? I mean, in, my, in the industry, I was like running pubs and restaurants, so it was easier to kind of meet in both cities. But I think in a general sense, Toronto- Maybe like people being friendly, I yeah, guess. Yeah, Toronto yeah. would be, there's just more to do there, which in turn creates more of like an opportunity to find friends. Whereas here, it's like, yeah. like I said before, uh, yeah, you're gonna only gonna find like a lot of events hit like a couple days a week. Um, where you can find like a, a, a comedy night or a, a musical, like or like a like a band that you want to go see, or or a basketball game, a basket, a, a baseball game, a hockey game, whatever you want to see any night of the week. So I think events are more accessible, which in turn breeds friendships. So I would say Toronto. I wouldn't say they're friendlier. I don't know. It's it's hard to make friends when you're like just out of the blue. But I think the events really help kind of put you in touch with more people. So I would say Toronto. Though. So Toronto. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, okay. Next one is a bit of a, a hard one, but overall vibe. Like, which city is more vibing for someone in their twenties or in their thirties? Potentially, because you were mainly single in that time. <laughs> That's just. I mean, you were dating, but life didn't happen until I came along. Oh so God. as a single person, I guess, because that's the, your experience, which was more of a vibe city to live in? Well, it really depends on what you're looking for, I think. If you're, if you're looking well, to- Well, what, what vibes did you experience in each city? Maybe that's an easier question. Here in Vancouver, definitely more of like outdoors. People want to, um, Hi. get out of the city almost <laughs> and like yeah go go for a hike or go for uh, a swim or, or snowboard or uh, yeah do something active outside mm -hmm. go for a walk in the park kind of thing um, Toronto was a little bit more work oriented during the week and then um, like yeah doing whatever on the weekends sort of deal so I think the vibes were work hard play hard in Toronto and then here it's like a little more easy going and then a little bit more like nature oriented because there wasn't a lot of nature available in Toronto so it depends on what you want at that point. Only a couple questions left so salaries where did you find I guess generalizing where did you find you made more money and if someone wanted to make money could they do that here or Toronto better? I think it depends industry as well, but yeah. it's, uh, if you're in customer facing industries, you will absolutely make more money in Toronto with more people to sell to essentially. So it's yeah. the availability of selling to somebody, anything. I was in the bar industry and it was busy seven days a week. Um, and that means that I got paid more in both tips I also got paid more in salary because I was more valuable to the company because I was, you know, keeping things afloat. And but like in other industries, if they were able to make the same amount to Vancouver, um, I think they'd be paid similar. But yeah, it depends on the industry. But from my experience, uh, Toronto you made more for sure. Okay. Okay. So we're just wrapping up here, and I guess overall. Toronto kind of won in the list of which city is better to live in, yet you live in Vancouver. So I guess why now do you decide to live in Vancouver? 
like yeah just the reason that you're here now and why I guess you prefer to live here because you have lived here for longer I have lived here for a lot longer yeah I grew up in Vancouver Island and then I've been to Vancouver for like you said nine years so I think in my personal experience um, I missed being kind of near the ocean and near uh, being able to get out of the city easier and I felt like maybe my work-life balance was a little bit skewed out there um, and yeah just just uh, uh, just being near like nature was important to me so um, coming back for that was was important and my family my family's out here too so it's easier to get uh, homesick and whatever but I think a lot of it had to do with I think yeah. it's work-life balance. It was, so it was too much. you enjoy your lifestyle more in Vancouver? It was a like lifestyle thing. Offer. I was okay. just like almost burnt out after two years. It was like I was ready to come back to a place I knew and back to a place that I had family around. So I would say Vancouver offered a lot of things like activities I enjoyed doing. So it wasn't just oh we'll go to a restaurant or a comedy show or like a sporting event or it was like okay we'll go for a walk around the park or we'll um like go for a snowboard up at whistler or go to tofino for a surf or, or visit my family on the island i liked i liked a lot of the events that happened and they were available all the time but it was like it wasn't my lifestyle so i, I that's why i ended up coming back and it's also maybe as well like stage of your life too i mean i was like mid to late 20s when yeah. I lived there so it was right at the time where I was like I could be like I, I did enjoy it it wasn't like I didn't have a good time in Toronto I just thought yeah. that I think I think you have to be in the mood for a like if that's the lifestyle that you want some people love that yeah. they love the hustle and I could have I could have had a different style of, of life out there and like I, I could have scaled back on work and I could have been a little bit slower but I just didn't want to have to put that effort in when I when I thought about going home as well so cool yeah. all right well that's kind of everything thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you learned something from this video learned a bit more about Elliot and happy three years happy three years, happy three years. all right thank you guys for, watching. for watching bye bye, bye, -bye.